you guys welcome back to my channel i am cherish Kwage and i'm so excited to finally be back with this video so as you can see from this title i am just talking getting down to why i got off social media how it's helped me and why i'm super excited that i just got off all together. getting off social media was a choice of mine because i found myself just wanting to be always in the know always in what's going on in everybody's life facebook instagram snapchat um tiktok twitter a little bit of twitter i wasn't a big fan of twitter but a little bit of twitter and i found myself as i was getting up in the morning Say my thank you Jesus for waking me up this morning and the first thing I'm gonna grab is my phone and I realized that in doing so I started my day out with reading other people's posts or looking at other people's mornings or what they were posting and not that everything on there was like something bad or dreadful people would post like their breakfast or a picture of the beach you know nice not things that was like crazy but throughout my day i was always just wanting to be on social media see the latest gossip to see the latest details and that was one reason why i got off of social media is because i was trying to keep up with everyone and what they got going on and see what people were doing with their lives and it's kind of like i was trying to keep up with what we used to call keeping up with the joneses where we would have this person across the street you know um that we were keeping up with right the person across the street or down the street or in your neighborhood that was the joneses right now it's like we're keeping up with the joneses the smiths the browns the kardashians you name them we're keeping up with them um and for me it just became too much like just wanted everything I saw like even some of my influencers that I um, watch on YouTube that I will watch be on their social media pages where they were buying stuff and advertising this for a brand or this for a company and it's like oh that looks cool it's just advertisement right so I was just buying stuff and getting stuff and stuff right and I decided that that is just, that was not what I was meant to do. So that was one of the reasons why I got off social media is just the stress of it all. And just wanting to get out of that stress. That was just stress. And believe it or not, people don't realize it. But what you watch all the time, you start to take on that in your own world and bring it into your own space and then a lot of times we see a lot of people depressed because it's it's crazy when you look at just a reel or a snapshot of someone's life and you think oh my gosh this person has it all together oh my goodness they have this beautiful car and this beautiful house and they have this great set of kids and this wonderful husband and this wonderful wife right and it's crazy because we're looking at it and it's like oh my gosh I wish my man would do that oh I wish my lady would be doing that or you know and we're looking at that and not realizing that that is just a moment that's just a snapshot and not all the time what you see is real and it's so crazy because like me being a, a Christian influencer is what I call myself at this point because that's what I do on YouTube it's like I do a lot of faith content and I just want to inspire people through Christ that's that's what my passion is so when I look at people and I see all these things that they have and they put this screenshot of their life I realize that it's just for a moment it's just for a quick second in doing this i know that i do a lot of bloopers on my channel like a lot of stuff you guys don't ever see and that's because i edit this video before it ever goes on youtube and i edit out what i don't want you to see and when i began to just think about that and how we just 
can edit out what we don't want you to see. We can just post what we don't want you to see because again, no one's gonna post the real anyway. Like they're not gonna post that they're, well, let me take that back. Cause some people be putting all their business out on social media. I mean, you know that they got beat last night. They husband walked out and cheated on them. They got caught. You just know all their business. I mean, I found where people even go to funerals, right? And we'll take a screen, a snapshot of the person in the casket and post that on social media. Like, are you kidding me? Like some things are just not meant for the world to see. Like, and if you've done this, I'm not like shaming you or anything like that. It's just that this world has come to a place where everything, everything is out on social media. Nothing is private anymore. And then you see people where you you see their their reels or their snapshots or their screenshots or their stories and it's instant and it's sweet and then you find out oh my goodness this person is getting a divorce or this person is split up and it's like wait a minute they was just together in jamaica that was just they was just booed up like two weeks ago and now they're getting a divorce like and it's like what you see is like doesn't add up with what you're hearing when you hear that they're this this couple or this this group of people are getting a divorce or going through a breakup or a custody battle you don't you don't know and it's like oh my gosh when did that happen because i saw none of that on their social media but anywho that's that's one reason why i got off of social media and it for me it just made so much sense and my head space is so much clearer now than it's ever been before before social media like oh thank you god thank you for it just thank you so um that's pretty much the main reason why i got off was because that was clouding my space it was taking up the majority of my time because i could get on tiktok is the devil okay it's the devil it's the devil <laughs> When I tell you I could get on TikTok and be on there for hours and be like, it's daylight when I start and it's night when I'm done. It's like, wait a minute, where did the time go? And it's like a lot of times we say we don't have time, but we really got time. We just, we're just allocating that time to something that really honestly doesn't make any sense. Unless TikTok paying you to watch them videos, paying you to watch, not to make, but to watch them. Why? Like, why spend so many hours? And that's what I had to say to myself. Why am I giving this so, so much of my energy to this when I could be doing something else, especially like within my business? I have my own coaching business, financial coaching business. And it's like, I'm giving more time to TikTok than my business. And that makes no sense. That makes no sense. So now, no more TikTok, okay? And it's funny because now that I'm off social media, whenever like, my family members or friends call me and they be like, did you see so-and-so or did you, I'm like, where? where, where was it at? Was it on, was it on some type of news outlet? And I don't really watch news, but did they, I mean, how am, else am I going to hear it unless someone tells me? Because again, I don't have social media and now they kind of know, oh, Cherish don't have social media. We have to call and tell us, don't call and tell me all the foolishness. But if it's something like important, like something happened to someone, they'll call me and let me know those things. And you know, I'm grateful for that. So most people know that I'm not on social media. Uh, they can be talking about something. I'm like, what did y'all see this? When did this happen? Oh, that's right, you're not on social media, girl. So you don't know. No, I don't know. Um, if it's not impacting my life in any way, then I really could care less about it. Okay? So um, not only that, um, the main thing that social media helped me do is to seek God more. So all that time that I was giving to Instagram, giving to TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, um, I actually was able to give that time to God. And now I have a closeness with God that I've probably never had in my life, honestly. And now I'm able to talk to him and seek his word more. I'm in my Bible. My Bible is no longer sitting on the, because sitting on the side of my bed, because before it was sitting on the side of my bed, kind of dusty. Cause I would take it out 
whatever. Now I take it out intentionally every single day and read it. I open it. I read it. I study. I meditate on God's word. And to me, that is just like so uplifting and so powerful. And my favorite verse in the Bible, if you don't know, is Matthew 6, 33. It's like one of my favorite seeking God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. And I feel like when we sit out and we seek out to watch other people and their reels or their their snapshots or their stories of something insta insta it's instant um then we get caught up in wanting to oh just comparing our lives or what we don't have to what we we want with someone else's stuff and Clinging on to God's word has given me more insight on where I need to be. I wanted to focus and start focusing on God and what he has for me and the importance of seeking him because my eternal home is heaven. It's not earth and not saying that you can't have stuff. Don't get me wrong. It's not. I'm not saying that you can't have nice things because God wants us to be prosperous while we're here on this earth. But if we're seeking those things over God, then that's the problem, right? So I got rid of that problem. Now I seek God first and his righteousness and everything else God is going to provide, period. Okay. Um. I also um, got off because of the stress. Like I said, it was just stressful being on social media. It's just so much stress, so much stress, so much stress. And thankfully, I no longer, like I said, get up. I don't get up anymore grabbing for my phone, looking for social media and what's the hottest thing trending. I don't care about that anymore. The only thing I care about is Jesus and what he's trending and what's trending from Genesis to Revelation. That's what's trending for me and um not to make anyone on my channel feel like um social media um you can't be healthy on social media but just for my mental space and what i feel like is important um i decided to get off and it's the best one of the best decisions i've ever made in my life i just feel so free now i don't feel like i have to post every day for my business try to put ads out make ads i was spending so much time trying to get the perfect ad to advertise in my business and people say oh you need social media for your business no i don't no i don't because guess what the same thing that worked back in the day word of mouth People will continue to, to send business my way. God will make a way, period. So all this extra stuff that people say you need, you don't need, you need Jesus, period. And as long as you got him, you got everything. Damn, there you go. Anywho, I love y'all. Um, I hope that you guys are great. I hope everything's going well for you. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Let's become let's become bible besties that's what you guys will be my bible besties like if you read the bible um if you love jesus if you don't love jesus let's talk i can i can i can lead you to jesus honey i can show you to jesus he's the, he's the way he's the way he's the way anywho i love y'all i love you guys i hope you guys again are doing fabulous if you have not yet subscribed go ahead do so it's okay we are all bible besties here and i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.